The husband of missing Gold Coast mother Novi Chardon has arrived back in Australia. His return follows the discovery of new evidence on a Mount Nathan property this week. John Chardon is refusing to be interviewed by detectives. Back in Queensland, but with nothing to say. What did you think when the police contacted you? John Chardon arrived from Singapore this morning. His Asian trip was cut short as detectives uncovered new evidence at a Mount Nathan property about his missing wife, Novi. The millionaire businessman wouldn't answer questions from the media. Seven News also understands he's now refusing to cooperate with police. He returned to the house this afternoon. Get off the property. Or I'll forcibly remove you, OK? Boom. This week, police dug up parts of a ute believed to be the same make and model seen at the Chardon family home when the mother vanished. The property is owned by Mr Chardon's friend, Dave Babington. This week's developments have given the missing woman's friends hope. Closure would be so reassuring right now. Maria Power continues to check Novi Chardon's Facebook page in case she makes contact. Instead, other friends are posting. Today one wrote, where are you? It's a question police are still trying to answer. Until we see a body, we can't rule it out. We cannot. We, we, you know, we can't have a funeral. We can't. Because it just wouldn't be um, nice. And Eamon Atkinson joins us now live from our bureau in Surfers Paradise. And Eamon, do we know what's going to happen with the investigation now? Okay, detectives are working on other leads based on this week's new evidence. Police will also push to interview John Chardon again. The forensic test results on the car parts aren't expected for several weeks. Police hope the findings will help them unravel the mystery of Novi Chardon's disappearance.